Hello YouTube, Scott here from Made by Odin. Come follow along my journey as I learn how to make a successful YouTube channel and start a woodworking business at the same time. What I'm trying to do. I do know that when you're starting a new business or starting a new lifestyle, starting a new thing you're trying to do, there's going to be sac sacrifices made. Uh, I don't know necessarily what I'm going to have to sacrifice to get to, at least on the YouTube side, a thousand subscribers or 10,000 or more, or what things are going to do to, I guess, involve itself more in my personal life as I try and go forward with this professional life. Right, um, but I again after reading some forums uh, from various YouTube websites or YouTube channels, they want to go and say, "This is what you got to do: the five best things, five five worst things." Um, one of the key things that they harp on is just get started. Try and do your video once a week. Try and get you know systematic with it. Make time. Uh, that actually kind of segues into something the military, uh, at least good leaders that I've met know, is that if you want to do something, you're going to make time for it. Uh, this is something that I want to do, so I'm going to try and make time for it. I don't subscribe to that lifestyle where it's, uh, hey, you know, I'll get to it when I get to it, or oh, I don't have time this week, I don't have time next week. If you really want to do something, you're going to do something. If you really want to achieve whatever goal you set out, you are going to achieve it. You just have to actually want it. A lot of times people want the first bit and they see that smidge of a result or they see that smidge of uh, something they're getting towards, like me, use, uh, me starting this YouTube channel. I might get my first few videos or my first few videos, get those first few likes, first, first few subscribers and be like, all right, I'm all, on the uh, on the ball I don't want to get stuck or I don't want to lose motivation so I'm going to use uh, a lot of personal motivation to try and get through this uh, especially if I feel like I'm getting stuck and I'm hoping that whoever sees these videos is uh, willing to give me their honest feedback on what is and is not uh, working for, for this channel um, I do want to focus a, a little bit on the I guess my difference differences that I'll focus. Ah, we'll cut that bit out, right? <laughs> I want to focus on the differences between quality and quantity. I think early on in this channel, I'm going to try and focus on just quantity, making sure I get that one video a week. I don't want the quality to be so bad that nobody wants to see it, but I can't let the perfectionism that I know that I like get in the way, right? Perfectionism doesn't mean always perfect in my in my goal of starting out right perfection uh, would be more me sticking to the requirements that is going to make scheduled videos regularly uh, possible I need to make sure that I'm doing the things I gotta do uh, starting an income stream this is, this is just notes if I'm looking down at the camera too much it's just notes I've written uh, starting an income stream requires upkeep right Keeping a new income stream requires planning, requires systematic action. Right? Uh, what is my margin for success? Well, I guess my margin for success in the future, or at least for the first thousand subscribers that I'm gonna to aim towards, is going to be learning from my mistakes and learning what works and doesn't work. Uh, there's 52 weeks in a year, that's 52 videos that I'm going to try and make consistently. I know that as of the current date here in the middle of June, I'm about six weeks out from having to fly, so I anticipate maybe missing a week in the future for, for that flight and reintegrating back into the, into the States. But I think it's a 
okay because I'm I will have an ability to try and plan ahead plan forward to be able to get an extra video out that week you know plan knowing what I'm gonna do or and I don't like to procrastinate and make it up on the back end because procrastination is just another word for fear I'm not gonna fail I'm not gonna succumb to my own fear of not being able to do this um, I guess uh, at this time I'd, I'd probably have some up here on the screen saying like this is my business plan this is the things I need to do I do want to start a woodworking business so I'm you know 14 years or so in the military uh, I have about six years left before I'm eligible for retirement and when I retire I don't want to work for somebody else right I want to work for just me and my family and make sure that I can live the best life I can after giving 20 years of service to our, our nation and our, and our uh, fellow Americans. I want to make it so that when I'm done with my military career, I can roll right into something that I'm passionate about, something that'll give me purpose throughout the day. Uh, you'll find if you ever meet uh, a military member, uh, no matter if they had a good or bad experience, something, uh, a quality that we all share is typically we're purpose-driven. We want to see and do something that makes makes or gets results. Now that result could be something personal to them, like they want to achieve that next level on a video game, or it could be something more like myself where I'm, I want to see and achieve something that I've built, um, or see and achieve something that others have built and help them along that process. So as I go along with my woodworking business, I do have some tools uh, that I've acquired over the last couple of years, such as like a table saw, uh, a box, a lunchbox planer, lunchbox planer. Uh, I got a, a lot of the other like key tools. I don't have everything that's needed to mill down lumber entirely, but I do have plans to buy it. And in the Colorado Springs area, there is an abundance of people who are moving and not moving and little thrift shops where I can find these things. I'm gonna try and be thrifty throughout my purchases to get this uh, process. Um, a few other things that I'll try and focus on throughout this, this uh, next few years with you guys is how I'm gonna go about my lifestyle, right? So uh, my wife and I, we have a farm out in the mountains, uh, learning how to farm on our own, uh, using our tractor to and getting the attachments for our tractors to be able to, to do that. Uh, and then, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to end up building my own shop, but there's plans to have a separate shop so that I'm not stealing the entire garage for my, my woodworking business to support the family, right? I need to have a separate space that the family dwelling is a family dwelling, that the workshop is it's a workshop. It's a separate thing. It's something that where even though I might be retired, that will be life for me to have a workshop and have a wood shop. Uh, it'll be separate from living with the family, right? Work will still always be work for me. Uh, I know that's not for everybody, but at least for me, that's that's what it has to be. Uh, the things I'd like I'd like to apply uh, in this channel are, I guess, my lifestyle quotes that I've learned from either just funny memes on the internet that uh, act, that strangely apply, or more importantly, things that I've learned from mentors over the years. Uh, one of my favorite ones uh, is actually a buddy of mine, Nick. And this is, this is probably the most impactful statement that I've learned throughout my life is no one's going to care about your career more than you. And it, it has a lot of similes with other metaphors, such as like you can bring a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You can open the door for opportunity, but you got to be the, or someone else can open the door for opportunity, but you have to walk through. Um, there's, it, it was surmised to me during a, a difficult deployment where I was just trying to get further and it wasn't happening. And he came along and he goes, hey look, the, the promotion, the things that are gonna go forward are gonna come, are gonna come right? You can't, you can't stop the inevitable greatness that you're gonna achieve. You just gotta do the job and, and achieve it, right? No one's gonna care about your career more than you. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make it happen kind of thing. Uh, so you will succeed, it is inevitable. Uh, for the woodworking business, uh, I know that I have some things I need to buy still, some things I need to, I need to accomplish, 
before I can get there. Uh, right here, I should be sharing some, uh, some business plans that I need to get. So like this, uh, later this year, I'm actually be setting out a loan and getting a CNC machine so that I can start making products sooner for sale, right? Uh, we're gonna go and touch on the prospects of trying to get customers, how to talk to people, lay out your actual business plan so that you can, you can talk to these people and say, look, I have a plan. You just gotta believe in me. I have a business model. I know what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I haven't broken down the exact hours and numbers of how things take because I'm, I'm not in operation, but I do have the ideas of what I want. Right? I have what I'm trying to do and I think my positivity will help me go a long way uh, in the future. And uh, again, that brings it back to you guys. If I can get your pos positivity in, a, in achieving this, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, so as you see here, we actually have a lot of things on this list that uh, I got to purchase. You'll see a grand total of just under $300,000 over the next six years that I'm gonna try and purchase so that I can make this a reality, uh, so that we can make this a reality. So as we go through, go through uh, you'll see here that I got, uh, I'm gonna be very transparent on what I make in the military. It's not like it's difficult, you can look it up on the internet, uh, but it's also in conjunction of like what my wife makes. Uh, she's prior service, so you'll see there she has a uh, bit of a disability that we get monthly from the VA. Um, you also see that this is how much debt we have. This is how much we're trying to pay off. Uh, I won't, the, the, the bills you see on the side there, those are all gonna be blurred out as to what they are. Cause I don't think you guys need to know what it is, but this is just for my tracking what I have. Uh, just realize that we spend on average, uh, I'm hoping a little less than uh, a few thousand dollars a month on bills including credit card debt but uh we will have a, a, a good long talk in a few of our videos on what my monthly expenses are versus what i'm able to invest in the future for all these business plans as well as the family development wants you'll see on there we have things like i want to build a new chicken aviary right uh over the course of covid the lumber blew up over three three hundred percent I'm not trying to pay 300% over cost to make what is essentially just a frame with a fence around, or a fenced frame with uh, some chicken chicken netting so that my chickens can hang out outside. Uh, I know that this video is kind of all over the place. It's the first one, so please be gentle. <laughs> um, but I think that about cuts it. You know, I, I know that in this video I'm trying to focus on like the base things that I've, I've seen. Let's get a thumbnail. Uh, let's get, we got our plan laid out, uh, at least an idea of a plan, not maybe not a plan, but a goal, something that we'll list out. And I'm, I'm gonna try and set off to the side here so that I can always list these things down. Um, people who do, may or may not like lists, uh, sorry, you know. <laughs> um, I would say this is uh, this first video. It wasn't as embarrassing as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I like the fact that I'm able to speak out, say what my goals are, because it makes it feel a little more real. And I hope that whoever's listening gets that same feeling that if you say it out loud, if you if you put it on paper, you can make it feel real for you too, so that uh, you can get by. You can do what you're trying to do. I don't know how much I. I guess by the time I edit this video, I'll see how much. I don't look at the camera uh, or how much I do if I'm speaking too much, if I say like or us too much. Uh, we'll try and hold that back, uh, especially around my pauses or sound like Obama with my pauses. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching my first video. Uh, this has been Scott by Made by Odin. Uh, it's my business name that I'm gonna have. It's already been at least a uh, looked at it sounds it sounds like a good one made by Odin brings a little bit of faith a little bit of self uh self-awareness 
again, it's all about goals, putting it on paper, putting it on video, getting out there, and let's see where it goes. Thanks for coming. Like and subscribe. Bye.